Hello, it's Carolyn from the Purple Poncho. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable butterfly pillow. So to begin with this butterfly pillow, I've used four different colors plus a main color. So I have five colors in total. It's made in corner to corner crochet. So I make one whole wing at it one time and then I make another whole wing. So to show you what I mean, I have a partial butterfly made here and then I'll walk you through making making this whole wing. So you're, in, you're actually going to make two of these. So here's a wing. Okay, so I'll show you how to make this. And then I'll show you how to put it all together and then do the edging. I'm using a size H crochet hook or 5.00 millimeter. And I'm also using a worsted weight number four yarn. So yellow, yellow is going to be my main color in this one. Well, I'm, I'm calling it the main color. So instead of the white, I'm using the yellow in the sample I'm doing now. Okay, all right, so to begin, we're going to make one cluster of corner to corner crochet in the double crochet stitch. So if you're not familiar with the double crochet stitch, then I will link another video to that. Okay, so we're going to start with a chain six. We're going to count back one, two, three, four chains from the hook and we're going to work a double crochet in that chain and we're going to make another double crochet in the next chain and another double crochet in that last chain. So this is our first cluster and we're actually going to end off. So now I'm going to grab my next color. And I'm going to change colors on the last yarn over of the last double crochet. So I just put my yarn on the hook and just pull it through to finish the double crochet and just pull that down a little bit. Okay, so for row two, we're ready to start with our new color. I'm going to chain six, two, three, four, five, six. And again, we're going to count back to that fourth chain from the hook and we're going to work a double crochet. There's one and another one, double crochet. That's two and three. And this is pulling up a little bit because we haven't secured it down. I'm talking about this new green color. It'll be okay. Alright, now we're gonna we're gonna turn and we're gonna lay this on top. We're gonna make it like a sandwich. And our hook should just fall right into that space of the chain three space there. And we're going to do a slip stitch. And then chain three again. And work three double crochet in that chain three space. There's one, two, and three. And again, we're going to end this off. and start with our next color. Now it's up to you if you want to change colors every row. So I undid that last yarn over to finish that double crochet on that last cluster here and I'm going to add this green yarn over there and just pull it through. Tighten down that other color, just kind of cinch it up a little bit together to start row three chain six, that's two, three, 
four, five, six. Go back to the fourth chain from your hook, double crochet, double crochet in the next chain, and double crochet in the next chain. Rotate your work or turn. Stack your cluster on top of the previous row cluster. Find your chain three space and your hook should just automatically glide right in there and slip stitch. Chain three and place three double crochet in that chain three space. There's one. Two, three. Slip stitch in the next chain three space. It's connecting your clusters together there. Chain three and work three double crochet in the chain three space. There's one, two, and three. Okay, so that's row three. Cut off that yarn. Add our next color. So again, I'm just putting my um, crochet hook back in those last two loops, taking out that last yarn over, and then I'm going to yarn over with my new color. I'm just changing colors here. Pull that down a little bit. And we're going to repeat the same exact steps again. Three, four, five, six. There's my chain six. Going back to the fourth chain from my hook. Double crochet in that stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And in that last stitch. Okay. Pull these down a little bit. Turn your work. Stack them on top of each other. Find that chain three space with your fingers. When you stack them on top of each other, your hook would just automatically, or should automatically, just want to go right into that chain three space. Yarn over and slip stitch. chain three, three double crochet in the same chain three space, one, two, three, line up your work, find that chain three space, slip stitch in the chain three space, chain three again, three doubles in the chain three space, Three. Find your next chain three space. Line up your stitches or your clusters, and your hook will just want to naturally fall right in there in that chain three space and slip stitch there. And then your last cluster. Don't forget to do your last cluster because if not, it's going to look like that. So you want to make sure you have one like this on my right hand side over here. Don't forget that last one. So we're going to do three double crochet in the last chain three space. There's two and three. So you can tell or you can see that each row it's increasing by one cluster. So row one has one, this is row two, row three, and now this is row four. So for row five we should have five clusters. So I'm going to add my next color here. Okay. Chain six. And 
and going back to your fourth chain from the hook we're going to do a double crochet and then double crochet in the next stitch and double crochet in the next Now I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to line the clusters up with my fingers on my left hand, finding that chain three space and slip stitch in there. And repeating the sequence across with chain three and three double crochet in the chain three space. Find the next chain three, line up your stitches or your clusters and slip stitch to the chain three space. I'm going to repeat this all the way to here. So we're going to repeat it three more times. And we should have five clusters. Two and three, slip stitch, chain three, three more doubles in the same space, and three, find the chain three space, line up your, your clusters or your stitches, and slip stitch there. Chain three, and three doubles in the same chain three space. There's two and three. Okay, so we have five clusters going across, and that's row five. For row six, I'm going to be changing back to my main color, which is yellow in this sample. And we're going to work two rows in the yellow or the main color that have six clusters in each row. So this first row will be just like all the rows we've been doing, increasing one cluster in this in row six. Okay, so I'm going to turn my work, <clears throat> line up my cluster, find my chain three space, and slip stitch in there. Chain three, and three doubles. And repeat this across. There's three. Line them up. Find your chain three space and slip stitch in there. Chain three and three more doubles. One, two, three. On your chain three space, a slip stitch in there, and chain three, three doubles. And slip stitch in there. Chain three. And three doubles in that last chain three space. For row seven, we're going to stay with our main color. And we're going to begin exactly the same way.
double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and in the next two stitches. Turn, line up your work and slip stitch to that chain three space. And we're going to repeat the same sequence all the way across until we get to here. So I'll meet you back over here. Slip stitch to the last ch chain three space. Chain three. And we're going to turn. And then we're going to slip stitch into that chain three space. This is our first decrease right here. So instead of making one another cluster over here, then we would have had seven on this row because we're on row seven. So instead, we didn't we did not make another one in this last chain three space. Okay, so we just chain three, turn, and now we're ready to make a color change. So I'm going to end off that, and I'm going to go. I'm. The way I um, designed it is, if you want to look through the top here, so you start here, row 2, 3, 4, 5, here's row 6 in the yellow, and then here's row 7 in the yellow. So these two rows of yellow have 6 clusters. Now I'm going to start going back down. So I'm going to go in the opposite order of the colors as I went up. So then my next color is going to be the blue. So I'm going to have blue, and then light blue, green, turquoise, and then yellow. So I'm going to get some more blue. And to change colors, I'm going to do it on the slip stitch. So I, I took out the slip stitch and I'm going to slip stitch with my new color. So just yarn over and pull through. And I'm just tightening it back down here. I'm grabbing my working yarn and now I'm going to make five clusters in the blue. So I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going to make... I'm just getting my tails off to the side here. I'm going to make three doubles in that chain three space. And three. And then connect it to the next cluster. Going in that chain three space, slip stitch. Okay, and then we just continue on. So depending on what side, um, we're going to have as the right side and then the wrong side. We're going to be tying all those together later on. Okay, so I'm going to make five clusters in the blue. So there's one, here's two, binding the chain three space, lining them up, slip stitch. Here's number three, my third cluster. Slip stitch to the next cluster. Here's number four. Going in that chain three space. And here's number five. One, two, and three doubles. And slip stitch to the chain three space. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five. Now to turn, I'm going to chain three in the blue, turn, and then on that slip stitch, I'm going to change colors. So let me end this off. 
I'm going to grab the light blue. Now another fun thing you could do with this um, design is you could make you can make the other side different. So you can have one side of the wings, you know, look look a certain combination of colors, and then you could do the same on both sides, and then when you flip it over, you could have a different combination. So you can have a lot of fun with this one. Okay, so now I am going to slip stitch with my new color right there. Pull all these down. Have my tails off to the side. I slip stitched in that chain three. Space and now I'm chain three and continue on with my clusters. So this row I'm going to have four clusters. And again I'm just mirroring the opposite uh, side and you can have it all different if you like. Or you could even do it in a solid color and you wouldn't have to be making all these color changes. But the one good thing about this is that you could just tuck in all your ends into the inside of your butterfly and not have to weave them all in, you know, with a needle. But if you prefer to weave them in, that's fine. I'm not a big fan of weaving in my ends if I don't have to. It's always more of a chore for me, so I'm, I like to design projects that I can just tuck them in. But I do make a lot of knots, and I secure them, but then I just tuck them inside. Okay, so here's my last slip stitch. I've got four clusters. And you can see now how it's it's um, flattening out because we're not increasing, we're actually decreasing. Okay, so chain three and turn. And we're going to end off this color, get to the green. And I'm just going to slip stitch right here. And we're going to make three clusters in the green. My last cluster, slip stitch, chain three and turn, end off the yarn, working with my next color on the slip stitch. I'm yarning over with my new color here, tightening down that other tail going to make two clusters in this color here's one cluster one in my next chain three space slip stitch chain three three doubles And slip stitch, chain three, and turn. Now I'm going to add the yellow back to my main color.
join with the slip stitch with my new color. Three, three doubles. I'm making one cluster here. Slip stitch. And then to end, I'm going to chain three and turn and slip stitch into that chain three space in the corner. And I'm going to end that off. Now that I have my stitching complete, I'm going to tie the closest strands together so that they are no longer live. So I'm just going to tie a couple of knots to secure them and I'm going to trim them down just a tad bit. So just go around the entire fabric and just kind of line up your stitches and then tie them securely so that the stitching will not come undone. And then just trim them a little bit. Okay, so these are on the opposite side. So I'm just going to bring them to my wrong side now so that they're all on the same side. Just bring them all. And continue tying. Okay, now that all the ends are tied together and trimmed down just a tad, bring all the ends into the middle or facing towards the center away from the edges, if possible. Okay. And next, we're going to fold it into a triangle. And the points are going to be these clusters here, with the one cluster. Okay, so you get the stripes. So I'm going to just go ahead and fold it, line it all up, try to bring in all the ends to the inside as much as possible. Okay. So next we're going to crochet it together. I'm going to start at this six point here and crochet up here and then crochet back down. We're going to be making three single crochet in the end of each row or in the end of each cluster and we're going to be stitching through both um, sides at the same time. So we have a lot going on while we're seaming it together. So there's standing single crochet so second single crochet and my third so three single crochet in the ends so I'm just going underneath that chain three space on this edge and then on the opposite edge, I'm just going to go into the top of that stitch. So there's one, two, and three. Now my next one, I have a knot here, so I'm just going to fold that inside as best as I can. 
and then just try to work around it and just work three singles here I'm just going to repeat this all the way down. So this row is a round is kind of like a partial round because we're going to stop over here. So we started on this point, work towards the start on this end, work towards your center point, and then work back up the other side. So this would be side one. Single. Get down to this point here. We're just going to do three, three on this side, and then start back up here by doing three, three, three. So just keep doing threes, sets of three. And trying to keep your ends inside. see a little bit. Okay, so there's 18 single crochet on the side one. And this end I'm just gonna tuck it in. And now side two, rotate your work so that side two is facing up. Get these guys in. And I'm just gonna do um, the first couple of clusters and then we're going to put the stuffing in here. So don't forget to put your stuffing inside. Okay. Oops. Let's see here. So, there's one. I'm going to do one more cluster here, or not cluster, one more set of three single crochets in my next cluster. And then I will put some stuffing. It's up to you how much stuffing you would like to add. Okay. So next, I'm going to put some stuffing in here. Actually, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more. Go up one more time. One more little space here. It's up to you. You can start filling it at this point if you like. I don't like to put a whole lot of stuffing in mine. Let's see here. It's getting a little tough on this one. 
So just place your stitches, you know, as best you can, just making sure that you have uh, three singles for each cluster on the end of the rows, okay? Because then on my next round, <clears throat> you're going to need to be working in sets of threes. Okay, so now I'm going to put the stuffing in. So here's my stuffing, and I, I have a lot here, I'm not going to put quite that much. But just go ahead and start putting it in. So the more stuffing you put in, the more your stitches are going to open up. Seem like that. I don't want that much in there. So you just need to work with it and just get it how you like it. Maybe I will end up using it all. Okay. So you just want to make sure that they're filled, you know, about the same amount of stuffing in each one. It's, it seems like that's pretty good. This one probably has a little bit more. Uh, no, it does, actually. Let's see. Try to spread this one out a little bit. I don't want the stitching to be too far apart, because I don't want to see too much of the white, right? Okay. So once you get your stuffing in there, you can continue on making three single crochet in the end of each cluster while sewing these two edges together at the same time. See that well on this one. Trying to go right there. cluster here. I have my chain three uh, space there and I'm just gonna go into those three stitches on the opposite side from my chain three space. There's one, two, and then this last one I just put it up there on that last stitch. So I'm going to end that off, or you could also continue with the same color if you prefer. But for making this video, I thought it would be easier as well if I changed colors, um, even on this edging, because it's easier for you to see where I'm putting my hook. On this white one, I actually um, sewed, so I sewed up the triangles, and then I continued around with the next round. So it's hard to tell on this one. 
and it would have been hard to show you for these scalloped edges and all on this edge here it would have been hard to show you where to put your hook so that's another reason why <clears throat> I'm changing colors um, at this point so on this one you can see I've added this minty color and I'm going to be starting up here where we left off so this one is going to go this way it's looking cute already right? so pretty Okay. so make a slip knot I'm just going to go ahead and bring this yarn in, my tail. Uh, probably should have used a yarn needle, maybe. It's getting stuck. And I'm just going to shove it in there. And then this blue one. I'm going to shove that down a little bit. Okay. Alright. So if you're looking at the top of this wing, we're going to be working some stitches around these areas here in between so those scallops are going to work like this okay starting round two of the edging I'm going to attach my new color here to the top here top point of the wing and if you were going if you were continuing on from this color before, you would just chain three at this point with the other color or attach your new color and then chain three. Now in the corner, we're going to place five double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, and five and we're going to slip stitch right here in between the clusters and we're going to do a treble stitch and I'm going to do it I'm working in between these clusters this is one side and then this is the other side and this is so one row of clusters is like the back of the wing and then the other side is the front so I'm working in between the clusters so right here I'm going to do a treble Oops. another treble so yarn over twice I'm going all in the same space here all these stitches make another treble and then I'm going to do three doubles. There's one, two, three. And then I'm going to do two trebles. One, and two. So it's all in the same spot all in the same stitch. We're going to skip this next join here and I'm going to come over here to the next one. And I'm going to slip stitch right there. And it fans it out. And then it's in between the back side and then the front side. So it's right on the edge. Okay, I hope you can see that well. Alright, now 
I'm going to just slip stitch again to kind of cinch this in a little bit because you know I want the wings to kind of go in right there right so you have the front the top area and then you have the bottom area right of the butterfly so that's what I'm doing right here I'm cinching that together right there so we're just gonna slip stitch those two together and then we're gonna repeat this again the same exact sequence so we're gonna yarn over twice we're gonna skip this next one and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna do a treble it's a little bit tight and I don't really like how loose that is this part right here so I'm going to do it again okay. so I'm going to try and keep it tight right there ah, okay so I'm holding it with my finger so there's one two three okay that's <laughs> somewhat better okay that's good I guess Okay, so we're going to do the same thing, we're going to do treble, three doubles, and then two trebles. There's one treble and two. Okay. Now we're gonna skip that that first join after after our shell here, and we're gonna go into the next one. And then we're gonna come up here to this corner, top corner here. And we're gonna put five double crochet. And again, I don't like how loose that is right there. Try to keep it a little snug that first. I'm not talking about the stitch, I'm talking about the tension on this loop on my hook. Okay. Still kind of loose. Okay, there's one. Two. Three. four and five thank you to finish the round chain three and slip stitch in the same space. So, so pretty. Okay, now we're going to continue up along side one and then back down side two, and we're going to end up over here where we started. So, to go down side one, we're going to place a half double crochet, and first we're going to skip two stitches. And we're going to do three half double crochet. So there's one, two, and three. We're going to skip two st stitches, one, two, and do three half double crochet. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around. So skip two, and three half double crochet in the next stitch. Two and three. Skip two and then three half double crochet in the next stitch. And 
when we get down here to the point, we're going to just keep on with our sequence. Okay, so just the same exact thing on the end and continue all the way back up to the next corner. On the last cluster here, we're going to skip two and three half doubles in the last stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the base of that beginning chain three. I'm going to end off this yarn. And now we're ready to sew them together. Now I will join my two wings together by lining up the points here and then overlapping my turquoise stitches here or the minty color so I'm just gonna Be going up and down, doing a running stitch. I'm touching these two. Oops. Like so. Just kind of eye it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go, let's see, back down, and I want to make sure that I get this side of it as well. These stitches here, I don't want that to be up like that. I want to tack those down. So I just go up and then down on one side and then the other. Oops, oh, don't do that. And just basically going back and forth. Securing them together. This is the only sewing that we'll have on this project. Unless you're going to weave in your ends. Then you'll have a little bit more sewing there. Now I'm ready to do the final round of edging and make the antennas. So I'm going to start down here in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to be using this dark blue color. I'm going in the back loop only. And I'm leaving some tail. And I'm just going to put a slip stitch in the back loop only in every stitch. And I'm just going real loose 
Not too, not too tight on this. Just work your way around, and when we get to here, we're going to skip a few stitches to make the wings more prominent. Or actually, I'm just going to slip stitch right there, and then I'm going to skip up here. Let's see. Okay, so I didn't go into this stitch here. Let me show you again. So I've got this stitch, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. So these are the five stitches here that I'm looking at. So I'm going to go in that stitch, my last uh, treble. Then I'm going to go down here to the center and slip stitch there, and then I'm going to skip that first stitch here after that, and I'm going to start up here just to give it a little more definition and then continue on in each stitch so let's see how that looks, oh yeah see how that look, looks so nice and then once you get it completed you can kind of move the stuffing around and make it even more prominent. <clears throat> Not pretty. I'm going down that chain three. I'm just going in each chain now in the back loop there. Just continue on going in every stitch around. Ah. Trying to just get that back loop. And now I'm starting down the side, heading towards the head or the center. And we're going to make the antennas here in a second. And you can do all kinds of fancy stuff here if you like. You can maybe slip stitch down here and make those more prominent. Each little cluster more prominent. I think that would be pretty too. Just have fun with these. Uh, I'm excited to see you guys make these. All your different colors and different options. Okay, coming down to the center here. So I just kind of eye it to get the antennas, and I think I'm going to put them one more stitch down. Start this one on this side. So I'm still actually on my right hand side, but just eye it and just try to get them as close to the center here as you can. So I'm going to chain five. 
one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to count back to my third chain from my hook. And going just in that back loop there, just rotating my work a little bit. I'm going to slip stitch back down my antenna and that one back loop there. So for three stitches, that's two and three. Okay, and then I'm going to slip stitch into that same uh, stitch that we started in. And that's one antenna. And then I'm going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. Count back to my third chain from my hook. Going in the back loop. Slip stitch there. That's one. Slip stitch in the next stitch. Back loop only. And again in that third stitch. And then slip stitch in that same stitch again. So all that goes in one stitch. could even do it instead of here I could have done it through here I'm not sure I think it's okay there you just decide for yourself just keep it in the middle and that's about it the rest of it is the same as what we just did on the other side you just slip stitch in the next stitch back loop only and just continue all the way around the only difference going in each stitch, the only thing is, don't forget, when you come around to your other wing, you're just gonna, you're gonna go in that last stitch for your treble, then you're gonna skip this, this little one here, and you're gonna slip stitch to that middle one, skip the next one, and start again, back loop only over here. And continue all the way around, until you get back over to your beginning and I'll show you how to end that off. It's looking really good. I've just completed my last slip stitch and I've cut off the yarn so I'm just going to pull it straight through and I'm going to put it on a yarn needle. Now to end off I'm going to do is bring it underneath the V from the first stitch and I'm going to bring it back down the center of the last stitch and I've just created another V so now my entire butterfly has V's going around it all the way around and then I would just weave in these ends tacking it underneath this blue here and that and a second blue here and that's how you make this butterfly isn't she cute? this butterfly is a little more floppy than my original butterfly okay and the reason is because of the way this one is joined so if you look at this one it's a little more sturdy okay and because I used the main color for the last two rounds of the edging I was able to overlap <clears throat> I was over to able to overlap the white over the white okay and it made it a little more sturdy in the center so you might want to keep that in mind 
this one is definitely uh, not as floppy. So this one, I didn't overlap it. So I would have overlapped almost these whole sections right here, like on top of each other. And since they're different colors, if I did that, it wouldn't have been even Okay, with the uh, colors on the wings. So to keep the even wings, like yellow and yellow and then the green, I could only overlap that last round of green. So something to keep in mind. Okay. But I do like the way this looks with all the different colors. And here's the back. The edging is so pretty. Going in the back loop, it gives it that really pretty edge. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this really cute little stuffed uh, butterfly pillow, corner to corner butterfly pillow. So if you've enjoyed this video and, and you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Really appreciate it. Like and share with all your friends. Thank you so much for crocheting with me today and have a wonderful day.